Good afternoon, YouTube. This is the Los Angeles Prepper, and we are here in sunny California making a video about Mayor Michael D. Tubbs. He is the mayor of Stockton, California, and he has initiated a universal basic income experiment to hand out $500 a month to several dozen low-income families. Now, what does this have to do with prepping? Well, we all have to pay the bills, don't we? So, in an effort to keep all my options open, I have left a message with the mayor's office asking if they are still taking applicants to the program. Now, you might be you might be thinking, "Come on, LA prepper, you you're going to get a degree. You're going to have potential to get, you know, a full-time paying engineering job, which is a lot more than the $500 a month they're talking about in Stockton. That's true. But there's a couple things that I like about the plan. Um, potential plan, that is. I, I don't think they're accepting new applicants, and I feel like I'm, you know, needle in a haystack here, but you have to try, right? So, and forgive me, I think my hair is a little goofy. I took a shower before I went to bed and my hair is just long enough to where it starts to look funny. But anyways. So I like the plan potentially because it would mean, you know, my living expenses right now aside from rent are give or take about $500 a month. And that's including things like uh, electricity, gas, uh, internet, those are at least three of the things I can think of that would kind of go out the window if I was living in my car. You could use the public library for internet, not a big deal, to look for jobs and such, advertise, market, upload YouTube videos. Because let me tell you, if I wasn't uploading these videos, I could record a few hours of video and then my phone would be full. And I do have an SD card, but an extra SD card in my phone, but I don't think I can record to that SD card. I think I can transfer a file there and maybe I can record to the card if I download a different camera app, but my native camera app to the phone won't. Ugh, technology. I'm not a Luddite, but technology is kind of aggravating sometimes. So anyways, if, if theoretically anyone that was living in the city that qualified based on their income could get the universal basic income, I would strongly consider... Uh, Packing everything up in my car, maybe I'd have to put the tow hitch on and rent a trailer, but packing everything up with me, going to Stockton, living in my car, having my at least basic living expenses covered, doing a little side work as a handyman or whatever, and then applying for a full-time job. Now granted I'm living in my car while I'm doing this, but that doesn't mean that I can't have basic things like I can have a mailing address, I can get a P.O. box. Um, not worried. I think one of my uh, subscribers, Steve Foco, I still don't know if it's Foco or Foso. I think it's Foco. Anyways, was talking about, you know, showering for professional work and, you know, bringing a date back to the house. And believe me, starting a family is something that's on my mind. Part of the reason I went back to school to get a master's degree, because having a job and working as an engineer, at least in my mind, seems a little bit more... Uh, attractive to the opposite sex than being an underemployed business graduate, but you know, what do I know? What do I know? I know how to calculate the bending moment in a beam. Yay. This is how, this is how excited I am about my engineering degree. Yay. <laughs> when the first check goes into the bank, I'm going to be like, yay. And you know, after I've worked there for a while, maybe I'll be more jubilant, but, uh, I know this is kind of a silly video, but you know, I think it's I think it's kind of an interesting idea. And I'm fortunate that I don't have any ties, or fortunate or unfortunate, I don't have a lot of ties to LA right now. I don't have any really great friends here, I don't have a girlfriend here. So um so I would be perfectly able. In fact, I was talking, uh, I was interviewing today this morning with a property management company, which be an amazing job. The guy was talking about, I want to teach you all this stuff and then I want to send you out to manage your own buildings. And I was like, yeah, that sounds like a plan to me. And what's even cooler is that they have offices uh, all throughout California. So um, 
So even things like going through like some of the initial employment screening, I can complete some of that down here. I would have to fly up there for face to face, but that's you know not the biggest deal in the world. I mean, what's two hundred dollars in airfare for a you know sixty, seventy, eighty thousand dollar year job, right? So where was I going with that? Um, Oh, how willing I am to cut ties and move from LA. So I told the person I was speaking with on the phone, you know, look, if you want me to be on a plane, like the day that I take my test, like I'll leave school and jump on a plane if, you know, like May 15th or 16th or whenever, whenever my final is. Um, I, I think he might've been amused at that. Now, interesting, he said that it took him a couple months and maybe he was exaggerating a little bit to hire an engineer, so I'm glad that I'm kind of attacking this job market early because I know it's going to take a few weeks for people like him to get their ducks in a row, which goes back to the universal basic income plan that while I'm underemployed, I still have these ongoing costs of rent, of living expenses. So as, as much as it may seem like, you know, why would you want to buy a piece of dirt and live in the desert? Well, if I can get that piece of dirt for two, three thousand bucks, you know, granted, I have to get the water out there and kind of do a bunch of other crap, but a thousand dollars a month for rent is a huge cost. Is it huge compared to other one bedrooms? Maybe not, but you know, I'm looking at land for sale for one, two, three, four thousand dollars. Granted, it's in the middle of nowhere and it's not near, you know, economic hubs. And I'm looking at my twelve thousand dollars a year living expense. Now, if I had to commute an hour each way to work, that would be gas. And, you know, if I had to cart in all my water and buy a bunch of propane, you know, the costs of living on a piece of dirt do tend to go up. But I would argue that if I can buy the land free and clear, or at least buy it on very, very amenable terms, you typically don't get a loan for land um, unless you can qualify as investment or something. But most banks aren't loaning on land. so free and clear or seller financing, <clears throat> excuse me, is going to be the way to go. And to be honest, even though seller financing is a pretty decent option, the only reason I don't like it is that it rely, you rely on the seller to kind of uphold their end of the deal, you know, so granted, you got to do your title search and, you know, you want to have your seller finance contract all ironed out. But for me, it's just kind of an unknown that I don't necessarily want to deal with. If it was the only way to make it happen and it was a gorgeous piece of land, maybe, maybe I would, you know, maybe I would, right? But um, I just like the idea of being able to buy it free and clear and then it's mine. Uh, mine as long as I pay property taxes, right? But that's a whole nother discussion. So I'm going to wrap up this video, but just thought I would share with you kind of an ulterior plan, ulterior, ulterior, ulterior plan um, that would be really interesting. It, it would be really interesting to just move up to Stockton, live in my car, get my living expenses covered, and then, you know, go on from there and look for a job. Granted, Stockton is a hellhole. I mean, Stockton is an absolute shithole. <laughs> there's, there's not much in Stockton, and I can really appreciate Mayor Tubbs' decision to try to, you know, tackle the poverty. Um, I think UBI is one potential way to tackle poverty. You know, we have a lot of welfare programs in their country. I'm not going to really get into a whole welfare discussion, but interesting potential. At any rate, let me know what you think about crazy things like moving up to Stockton and collecting UBI while looking for a full-time job. In the meantime, like, comment, subscribe, and keep prepping.